Hello fellow AGDXers, welcome to another video. And uh, I was going to do something about uh, sprite masking, I know some of you were interested in that and I will get around to that eventually. But I thought I'd do this one first as uh, it was a bit of an offshoot from the sprite masking as I was coding it. I had an idea and I thought uh, it would be worth a try. And so here we can see the results. Um, here's a regular sprite as you can see just animated normally and uh, it's a little bit uh, compressed it was originally 16 by 24 but I wondered what would happen if I uh, was to uh, double it in size and as you can see that's what I've done here so basically it's the same sprite but it has been uh, stretched effectively uh, by drawing each of the horizontal lines twice rather than once and uh, I've also um, changed the code to take the size of the sprite into account so that as you can see here he can go up and down ladders, he can jump, he can climb and move about a level just as you would uh, a regular 16 by 16 sprite. So you can write the whole game uh, with sprites of uh, that size. So let's talk about how you implement it and basically this is a simple patch and to uh, install patches you'll need uh, AGDX uh, version uh, 4K I think but this one is 4L um, it's included in the uh, in the download as well so what I've done here is I've loaded in a little demo that some of you might have seen on the Facebook page here and uh, this hasn't got the patch applied to it but I'll now show you how to apply the patch because you can apply it to a game that is uh, already run and made as well so if you look down at um, just next to the sprites there you'll see the number 36944 and that's the place where the sprite data normally starts but we're going to go to miscellaneous menu switch on the pointers there by pressing Z scroll down to sprites and we are going to push this number up and uh, what we're doing here is we're pressing uh, control 2 to keep adding um, space when we're basically pushing all of the uh, AGD memory further um, AGD data I should say further up into memory until we get to this number here 36982 and we then go back to the miscellaneous menu turn the pointers off that's very important that you do something like that to reset the memory and AGD kind of rejigs itself and it's now ready to have a patch applied to it. So all we need to do now is open the appropriate patch which is here, stretch stripes.poke and then we'll have a couple of options available as you can see here choose stretch sprites and then you can choose which ones you want because that will set the appropriate level of uh, detection for collisions and positioning uh, I think in the newer patch there may be more options but as you can see it's that simple the game has been converted to uh, stretch sprites and uh, looks quite fun doesn't it uh, you can see the men there falling at the bottom uh, that's uh, basically because in the script I've set the um, the uh, collision detection for when men fall off so I'd have to adjust the script to stop the men falling um, or rather to make them fall right off and, and go away as it is they're just moving off the left and right of the screen but it would be an easy fix to make it's just because the sprites are bigger that uh, that it's doing that rather than having them disappear so you may have to make some other small adjustments to your script if you are converting a game to this format it's probably better though to make a game from scratch with it okay and uh, just to finish up I'm going to show you another example so here I am back again with uh, these uh, sprites as you can see and um, I'm going to show you now that we can also use what I've called uh, mixed doubles which is basically uh, a chance to have both uh, full size sprites um, regular size sprites let's say and also doubles and uh, we follow exactly the same procedure but the code is a little bit longer so again uh, we set the pointers on like this and we move down to sprites now in this version of AGD LB 
um, there is a, an ability to change the numbers by uh, sets of 10 as well as by 1 and 100 makes it a little bit easier and in general when you're uh, moving these pointers you should really just move the pointers up but don't move them down if you've got game code in there because it will probably cause corruption to your sprites and all kinds of other mess so basically just push the value up and um, you, know, you know just do it carefully but if you go over just uh, start again so maybe save the game before you um, before you do it so this one is 37048 as you saw there and it's called mixed doubles we do exactly the same thing we patch it in and as you can see there are a range of choices here now the thing about this is that you can choose collisions for 16 by 16 or 16 by 24 or for uh, stretched sprites. AGD is not configured to match both so you will have to uh, write your own script to take into account if you want to have uh, have both of them running at the same time you may have to run some checks on the positioning yourself but uh, you do have the choice here of doing that. Now the thing about this one is that uh, it's set so that a different routine is used for the first five sprite types and then the last four so by default the last four will be stretched um, you see their first five stretched if we click that it would mean the first five would be stretched and then the other four would be small depends on whether you want your main character to be stretched or not in this case sprite type 0 of course is uh, the main character and it's not stretched but as you see as soon as I move to type 5 we immediately get a double sized character here and uh, if I want to then I can basically create another version here and as you can see we've got two different sprite sizes one which is stretched and one which isn't so you could maybe use this to create a kind of a boss or something like that um, um, one thing that isn't possible sadly is you can't change from one small sprite to a bigger one because it will leave the space on the screen that the original one left so yeah but as you can see there it's uh, absolutely no problem to change from uh, a small sprite to a big one it may be possible actually to change from a small sprite to a big one because that might not cause screen corruption because it would be drawing over the same place but you definitely can't make a, a big one go into a small because it won't overwrite the blank data that was originally there so it might be worth trying Okay, so really it was just a little bit of fun. I thought I'd try it out. It might be fun to actually for someone to actually make a game with these big sprites. Um, it doesn't use up any more memory uh, than regular sprites, just the little bit of extra code, that's all. They are slightly slower, as you might expect, because they're drawing uh, a little bit more data, but not massively so. So I look forward to perhaps seeing something like this in a game at some point, or maybe a mini game, something like that. I hope, uh, I hope you... Uh, have a go at this. All right, so I think that's it for today. Thanks a lot, and always happy coding. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.